Do you even realize the damage that could have been done to Anthony Joshua because of his trainer, Rob McCracken? Do you even realize the damage? L let's let's do some research on, on what a concussion is. I'm going to be quoting... I'm going to be fucking quoting what this says here in Wikipedia. A concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury. It can occur after an impact to your head or after a whiplash type injury that causes your head and brain to shake quickly back and forth. A concussion results in an altered mental state that may include becoming unconscious. All right. A brain injury caused by a blow to the head or a violent shaking of the head and body. Symptoms may include headaches, confusion, lack of coordination, memory loss, vomiting, dizziness, ringing of the ears, and excessive fatigue. So that's what, and you know what's funny that it says that? Because that's all that Anthony Joshua was fucking uh, suffering from. He was, he, he had shit uh, coordination. He says that he had memory loss. He does not remember what happens after round fucking three. Okay. He said he was dizzy. And you saw how fucking tired he was after he got dropped. He was fatigued. And all these symptoms happen when you get a concussion. And Rob McCracken knew exactly that Anthony Joshua had suffered a concussion. And he allowed him to continue. All right. He got concussed in round four and round three. And he fought till round seven. So he got four rounds of being hit in the head repeatedly by Andy Ruiz's amazing counterpunches. And headshots. Because once Andy saw that he could drop Joshua with headshots, he was just throwing headshots all night for the rest of the fight. This is the kind of trainer that, that, that you want Anthony Joshua to have. Who doesn't care that a guy's concussed for four rounds. That could cause some serious brain injury. When you get concussed, you know what you need to do when you get concussed? Go to the fucking medical. Get yourself... First, it says to rest, go to the hospital, get yourself checked out. You're not supposed to be fucking sparring or boxing. And people even said before that Joshua was concussed before this fight. They said he was concussed before this fight, which that's even more stupid. He was concussed before this fight. That's even more stupid and dangerous. That means Rob McCracken knew he was concussed during the fight and before the fight. If that is true, if that is fucking true, what kind of shit trainer allows his fighter to continue to... To go into a fight knowing he's concussed or continue a fight knowing he got concussed. These, these things aren't like, it's not like a little fucking scratch where a dude gets uh, hit and then you see him swelling. It's, fu it's, a, it's a momentarily brain injury when you get fucking concussed, alright? It's, it's a mild traumatic brain injury, alright? There's nothing, it's not, it's nothing light about that telling you man Ron McCracken is a shit trainer and he's probably going to be responsible for the rest of J Joshua's downfall because that one that one fight probably ruined Joshua it probably ruined him forever it probably ruined him I'm telling you man he might think he's ready but he's probably not ready he's not ready man he's probably never going to be the same because of Rob McCracken